Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Brian Boyd, and you have been part of the Internet of Things happening here at IBM Impact. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. I'm a developer for IBM Message Site. It's an appliance that powers a lot of these Internet of Things and mobile messaging use cases. So a lot of the sports hack stuff you see here is, is, uh, uses the Message Site appliance as the foundation in the Internet of Things cloud. Can you talk a little bit about what that appliance does? So the appliance is used to uh, scale out messaging from your enterprise into mobile devices. It's used to collect sensor data from sensor networks. Um, anything where the MQTT transport is used, protocol is used, um, any devices like that can send data to the cloud and, and you do analytics on that, do different things with that. And so then, uh, specific to the sports hack hackathon, you did something pretty cool with uh, taking one of the uh, heart rate monitoring bands and providing real-time data uh, through an application. Can you talk about that? Sure, so I used a Zephyr heart rate monitor, which is a device that straps to your chest, obviously, and takes your heart rate data and stuff. I had a Bluetooth application that would sync with the device and publish that data to the cloud, where I was able to then take the data and view it on a map, so I could view my heart rate data in real time uh, in my correct position and everything, so. And the thing that I thought was interesting was you positioned it as making running more like NASCAR. Talk about that a little bit. <laughs> So NASCAR is a sport that's probably the most uh, heavily sensor dependent than anything else because every part of the car is instrumented. You have like the tire pressure, all the oil, you know, everything that makes the car run smoothly. The pit crew can actually monitor that stuff in real time and detect if uh, and alter the driver's strategy based on that. And so I had the idea of taking this heart rate monitor data and biometric sensors and having that um, improve the performance of a marathoner in a race. So, um, you know, when you run a marathon, your, your body fluids do crazy stuff. Like, you, you know, your, um, your performance is dependent on how the chemicals in your, in your body are reacting, right? And so a coach could take that data, monitor it in real time, and be able to signal to you on the course to maybe alter your strategy based on how your uh, biometric data is, is used. So. That would be extremely cool. Uh, I wonder how quickly that'd get banned from some of the bigger marathons. Yeah, I know, probably not too long. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Brian. Sure, thank you.